guys, this is Smitter here. I just came out of this game, uh, I played this match, and then I thought, hey, this would be a awesome showcase on, um, on uh, how annoying it is not to have unlimited sprint if you, if you keep wanting to rush, you know, because I keep getting out of sprint and I try to switch to my... Uh, to to uh, to just my holding my knife so I run faster. You, you see, at the beginning I I just caught someone by surprise by um, by sprinting with extreme condition and lightweight and without my gun because it seems to give you more movement speed than if you if you have a gun out. Even though um, they should be 100% movement speed the um, SMGs and shotguns from what I know and from earlier COD games, but. Uh, I don't know if you didn't get 10% or you, you get a some kind of movement speed bonus if you have no weapon on. So uh, good tip for you knifers out there. <laughs> but uh, it's also um, good if you just need to get to objectives really fast, you know, to to uh, flags, domination flags, capture the flags, stuff like that, you know. But as you see here, um, I have a few examples on the inconsistency on, on the shotguns. It's like. I think it's. Uh, I tried to check it out. It shoots very few pellets. Um, I didn't see it perfectly. I think it was one or two pellets or something. I don't know. I couldn't really see more. It's, it's really weird. Or or either they are all just really tight. You know, no matter what. Because you can see here uh, two shots, and and I don't even get a hit marker. And both were in the hip fire zone. You can say it was the center. You know. Of course, there was some of his body was blocked by the stairs. But anyway, there's a um, greater example where I shoot like three times or something and didn't don't even get a hit marker later on. So, but sometimes you just get those one shot kills from very long distance. And I have the best setup right here for hip flying. I have the um, laser sign, kind of like steady aim, and um, then I have long range, um, long barrel or whatever it's called. As you see there, I didn't even get a hit marker from that range. So it's it's very inconsistent, but um, this is the shotgun with the lowest amount of... Uh, or the best hip fire accuracy. So, um, to my game style, it's... Um, I, I kind of prefer it like that. And, and like I said, you could get those crazy um, long range, but it's very inconsistent. I think either if it shoots more pellets, like I said, it shoots them like... All dead at the same spot, you know. So it's <laughs> so it's really inconsistent. It's really weird for a shotgun having it like that. But uh, yeah, you can try the testing now. You know, shoot into the wall, and you can see the pellets. How many pellets, you know? And uh, I think I did that, and I only see saw one. So yeah. Normally I do all this kind of um, theory crafting and stuff like that, but I, I checked it out, and I only saw one. But that might maybe my memory, you know. I don't always trust my memory. <laughs> I'm like, I have the worst memory ever. So yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I I don't know this map. It's one of the. I, I was playing a lot of Nuketown in the beginning, so um, because I know that map, and it's good for um. Saw that great range, and then I didn't even get a hit marker right there, and I was much closer. Um. So um. Yeah, I don't know the names of the maps, and I don't know the layouts of them really well, you know, not yet. But uh, I've been playing like five hours or something, um, and here today, uh, I played a bunch yesterday with a guy named Tom. It was really fun, you know, had a good time, just relaxed gameplay, just a lot of fun, you know, so, um, yeah. So, um, I can't remember when it came, comes up that... Uh, that moment where I just dust those three shots, but you'll probably notice it anyway. So, anyways, guys, that was just uh, what I wanted to uh, say in this one. And um, let me know if uh, if you tried out the shotguns and the KSG in particular, and um, how you find it. You know, if you tried hip firing with it with the with um, the laser sight and uh, the range uh, add-on, because as you can see on the screen, it is the best hip firing. Um, uh, shotgun so you know the tighter the spread the more killing power but <laughs> if it only shoots one pellet then it's random you just need to be lucky that that um, when you have the enemy in 
in the un unless they are filling out the complete um, you know the complete circle that you make with the hip firing. Unless they do that, you're just going to be either lucky or unlucky, you know. Based, of course, on how much um, percent of the enemies you can get into the cover of the hip firing spread, you know. Then there's a greater chance for uh, for hit and and uh, kill. So, yeah. But let me know um, what you guys if you tried it out. What do you think? And look at this, <laughs> three shots, and uh, they're all uh, into the hip fire, and I didn't hit him. So. I can't remember if there were other times for that, but yeah, like I said, uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the gameplay, and and uh, as I always said, let me know uh, if, if you tried it out. Oh, the game is already over here. That was kind of a fail. Uh, I didn't even check it out on, on, the, on this. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye.